Back to the gridiron we go. Deep Run playing host to J.R. Tucker, both seeking their second win of the year. Deep Runs came via forfeit against Mechanicsville to begin the season, looking for their first win on the field for the year. But the very first play from scrimmage, this guy is gone. Caleb Smith, touchdown, Tigers. And just like that, the Tigers have a touchdown lead. They go for two instead of trying to kick an extra point. That time, Caleb Smith can't find the end zone six, nothing. Tucker, deep run, trying to battle back, and they would. Pass, caught, big play potential inside Tucker's 35 yard line that went to Matthew David. But then, oh, momentum and drive killer, the fumble. And Johnny on the spot, number eight for J.R. Tucker. Kai Thompson with a recovery. Tucker gets right back to the ground game where they had a couple of really big plays. This was one of them, number three, Cameron Williams. Goes around the left side and from one cam to another, well, one cam to a Caleb. Caleb Smith again and he is gone. Right side, two touchdowns on the night for Caleb Smith and J.R. Tucker going for two. Already says the score is 14, nothing on the scoreboard. Almost like they saw it coming, it is good. So Tigers up two touchdowns. Second quarter now. Tucker looking for something. Deep run. They got the football and the interception. It's Philip Dube who picks him off. And then Wildcats try to get something going. But pursuit in the backfield, number eight. Kai Thompson making his presence felt. Defense getting in the face of the receiver, or of the quarterback again, I should say, and it would lead to this. The interception could not quite take it the distance. Tigers going for the field goal. As deep, uh, deep runs defense held, that would be no good. Short and wide. Later, wobble, wobble going for a deep pass. Wildcats had plenty of great moments in this game. This is one, Vaughn Cup with the INT. So that stops that drive. And then Tigers say, well, let's just stay on the ground, but it's a fumble. And this guy was everywhere. Number 23, Colby Taylor, the guy can play. Makes a big play there. You haven't heard the last of Taylor. Here comes Taylor again. Colby Taylor to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. Just like that, we've got ourselves a 14-7 ball game. But Tigers trying to come back once again. I said Colby Taylor's everywhere. Makes a great open field tackle there. Saved a big play from developing from the Tigers offense. Second half now, screen pass. Nobody in arm's length of Cameron Williams and he takes to the house for the touchdown. Interesting call here. There is a flag on the field. They call Tucker for holding. The ref waves off the flag, says the touchdown's good. The holding didn't have an impact on the play. Coach Mullenix is like, yeah, but it's a hold. Like, you can't just pick up the flag because the hold happens somewhere else on the field, can you? I don't know. Anyway, they pick it up. Deep runs detriment. That touchdown for Tucker Wood stand. Wildcats trying to come back. Nice pass here. Guess who? It's number 23, Colby Taylor. What does he do? He gets tackles. He catches touchdown passes. He recovers fumbles. He gets the fans beating on trash cans. He does it all, folks. And then the Wildcats perfectly executed. Best onside kick, guess who? Colby Taylor. But you cannot advance an onside kick. So, could have gone for six, but not by the letter of the law. Okay, well then, we'll just run the football then. Guess who? It's, well, in this case, it's number 21, William Kulsunas. Touchdown, deep run. But it was too little, too late. Tucker wins it 20 to 14. I'm hungry for it. The coach told me in practice, I mean, be ready. I was in a rotation for Q, so I just had to be ready. I won't shock, so just had to be ready. It's, it's football. Been doing it since I was like, what, seven? Eight? 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 That's all we got to do. That's all. It won't just me, that's all I'm going to say. We had a lot of other players, Cam Williams, uh, Johnny Patrick. Who, <laughs> carried the game. I was just so happy to be in that situation, you know, get them two tuds. That's it. Verina gets more than two tutties against Mechanicsville. They remain undefeated. They win 34 to 3.